So hi everyone and welcome back once again to the session of PIB Current Affairs. In today's session, I will bring to you some more important questions from the PIB news, which are important for the each and every government exam of the government of India and also the state government. Basically, all exams are important. If you exam or preparation, kar rahe ho, the PIB news are very very important part. All right. So let's begin with the session. But before we begin, if you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group here you will get the pdf of this session and also you can ask any doubt here and you can also follow me here this is my instagram id here also you can ask any doubt so let's talk about the very first question very very important question guys 100 percent it is coming in your exam so you must have heard that the prime minister has launched the such bharat mission urban 2.0 and amrit 2.0 dono ka second edition uh, prime minister ne launched kiya hai very recently so this question is regarding that consider the following statements with respect to such bharat mission urban 2.0 and you have to identify the correct statements so iska jo announcement tha that was made in the union budget jo is saal ka union budget tha usi mein usko announce kar diya gaya tha but now it has been formally launched and it was launched remember by the prime minister of india so let's talk about the mission then we will come back to the question so what is the objective of uh, Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0? I hope guys you all remember that the Swachh Bharat Mission was launched in the year 2014 to attain the ODF Open Defecation Free Country Achieve Karne Ke Liye Swachh Bharat Mission launch kar diya gaya tha and the government is saying that we have achieved the ODF target the ODF target hai matlab open defecation free target hai wo humne achieve kar liya hai so now we are moving ahead towards the ODF plus and ODF plus plus. Now what is happening in this case? So the Swachh Bharat Mission Urban the second edition is what are the objectives of the Urban. First of all, access to sanitation, uh, sanitation facilities to serve additional population which are coming from rural areas to urban areas in search of employment. Now what is the urban population which is already in urban areas? They have already sanitation facility already given. But now, those people who are migrating from rural to urban areas in search of employment, they will be also provided with the sanitation facility. All right. And this will be done by constructing over 3.5 lakhs individual community and public toilets. Okay. Then another objective is to complete liquid waste management in cities in less than uh, cities with less than 1 lakh population. SC cities in population like 1 lakh se kam hai, liquid waste management ka kaam kiya jayega. Or usko complete kiya jayega. Then solid waste management is a very important component of this second edition. Or union budget may be iske baare mein baat ki gai thi that uh, the second edition will have a greater emphasis on the solid waste management. All right. And then remediation of all legacy dump sites. Now what is this legacy dump site? First of all, what is the meaning of legacy waste? Legacy waste wo hota hai guys, jo ki bahut time se ek jagah pe jama hai. The waste which is which has been collected for a very long time at a particular place that is known as legacy waste and the sites where uh, that uh, waste is put that is known as legacy dump site okay so unka bhi remediation kiya jayega unke matlab unko jo chhod diya gaya hai aise hi uske andar kuch na kuch improvement ki jayegi okay so these are some of the objectives of this second phase so first of all number one objective is to provide access to the sanitation uh, sanitation facility to the people who are migrating from rural to urban okay in search of employment other things also by and uh, this will be done by constructing over 3.5 lakh toilets and the second objective is the liquid waste management and the third objective is the solid waste management with a greater emphasis all right so moving ahead to other things duration is from this financial year that is 22 to the financial year 2026 Total financial outlay, it was also announced in the budget, 1,41,600 crores, which is approximately 2.5 times more than the phase one. And out of this, the central share would be 36,465 crores. Rest will be provided by the state governments and other uh, bodies. Okay. Other bodies, matlab, isme kuch municipal bodies, jo hoti hai, municipal corporations, hoti hai, unka bhi fund hota hai isme. Now, moving ahead to other things. Now these are some of the expected outcomes of the second edition of uh, Swachh Bharat Mission Urban. First expected outcome is that all statutory towns will become at least ODF plus and all cities with uh, population less than 1 lakh will become ODF plus plus. Now what is the meaning of ODF plus? ODF plus is a situation in which guys not a single person is found defecating or urinating in an open area 
एंड ऑल द कम्युनिटी एंड पब्लिक टॉयलेट्स आर वेल मेंटेन्ड एंड मैनेज एंड फंक्शनल ठीक है ओडीएफ प्लस का मतलब क्या होता है कि कोई एक भी पर्सन ओपनली ओपनली डिफिकेट करता हुआ या ओपनली यूरिनेट करता हुआ नहीं पाया गया और जितने भी पब्लिक और कम्युनिटी टॉयलेट्स हैं दीज आर वेल फंक्शन एंड वेल मेंटेन नाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ओडीएफ प्लस प्लस देन ओडीएफ प्लस प्लस का मतलब होता है द फीकल स्लज और दीकल सीएज आर प्रॉपरली मेंटेन्ड एंड आर प्रॉपरली ट्रीटेड जो भी सीएज है वो प्रॉपरली क्या है ट्रीटेड है दैट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ ओडीएफ प्लस प्लस एंड ओडीएफ ऑफकोर्स इज ओपन डिफिकेशन फ्री वेस्ट वाटर इज सेफली ट्रीटेड एंड ऑप्टिमली रीयूज इज द सेकेंड एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम्स एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्ड इज दैट ऑल द सिटीज विल अचीव एटलीस्ट थ्री स्टार गार्बेज फ्री रेटिंग थ्री स्टार गार्बेज फ्री की रेटिंग सारी सिटीज को मिल जाएगा uh as per the expected outcome of this second edition of sachh bharat mission urban okay so isme guys hum itna hi padhna now let's come back to the question the mission has been extended up to 27 28 is that so no it has been extended up to 2025 26 which means the financial year 26 it is expected that all cities will achieve at least three star garbage free certification yes this is absolutely correct टोटल आउटले ऑफ द स्कीम इज टू लैख फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड नो दैट वन लैख फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड क्रोर्स ओके सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट सो ओनली टू इज करेक्ट बट दैट इज नॉट इन दी ऑप्शन सो आई थिंक देर इज अ मिस्टेक इन द्वेश्चन सो लेट एस से दिस ऑप्शन इज टू दिस ऑप्शन इज ओनली टू इसको ओनली टू बना देते हैं तो ऑप्शन सी हमारा करेक्ट आंसर हो जाएगा आई विल करेक्ट दिस इन द पी डी एफ डोंट वरी पी डी एफ में सही करके दे दूंगा इसमें केवल सेकंड ऑप्शन ही ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट ऑल द सिटीज विल हैव दी थ्री स्टार गार्जेट सर्टिफिकेशन राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच इज रिगार्डिंग द अमृत सेकंड एडिशन अमृत का भी सेकंड एडिशन लॉन्च हुआ है एज यू ऑल नो सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अमृत टू पॉइंट अमृत टू पॉइंट के रिस्पेक्ट में आपको इन स्टेटमेंट बताना है ना वॉट इज द दिस अमृत अटल मिशन फॉर रिज्यूमिनेशन एंड अर्बन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation. This scheme was launched in the year 2015 to, of course, rejuvenate and transform the urban cities. And total 500 cities were uh, targeted to be transformed under this particular scheme. And in 2020, it has completed all the targets. जो इसके phase one के targets थे सारे के सारे achieve कर लिए गए हैं as as per the government. And now the second phase has been launched in the year 2021. This was also announced, guys, in the Union Budget 2122. Now these are some of the objectives. Let's read out the objectives. First of all, to provide 100% coverage to uh, 100% coverage of water supply to all the households in around 4700 urban local bodies. जो urban local bodies हैं, around 4700 urban local bodies में 100% water supply दिया जाएगा to each and every household. Then to provide 100% coverage of sewerage and septage in the 500 cities. विच वर टारगेटेड इन द फेज वन ऑफ अमृत जो फेज वन अमृत में पांच सौ सिटीज को डेवलप किया गया है रिज्यूबिनेट किया गया है ट्रांसफॉर्म किया गया है उनको सेप्टेज और सीवेज प्रोवाइड कराया जाएगा हंड्रेड परसेंट कवरेज फ्रेश वाटर बॉडीज विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम गेटिंग पोल्यूटेड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ दी ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड ऑल्सो रिज्यूबिनेशन ऑफ वाटर बॉडीज एंड अर्बन एक्वीफर मैनेजमेंट ना वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्वीफर एक्वीफर का मतलब होता है इस अंडरग्राउंड वाटर वेयर सम परमिबल रॉक्स आर फाउंड अंडरग्राउंड वाटर विद परमिबल रॉक्स राइट सो अर्बन एक्विफर मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर भी फोकस किया जाएगा ताकि वहां से अर्बन जो ग्राउंड वाटर है उसको बाहर निकाला जा सके और उसका प्रॉपर यूज और सही इस्तेमाल किया जा सके राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट अदर थिंग्स तो फाइनेंशियल आउटले टू लैख नाइनटी सेवन थाउजेंड करोर वेरी ह्यूज अमाउंट हैज बिन गिवेन ड्यूरेशन इज टिल नाउ अप टू मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री क्योंकि अभी तक तो इन्होंने बताया कि मार्च दो हजार तेईस तक ही रहेगा उसके आगे डेफिनेटली एक्सटेंड होगा and these are some of the other key points number 1 it will promote circular economy of water how they will promote the circular economy of water by uh, by you know formulation of a plan which is known as which is known as city water balance plan city water balance plans now what is this plan for this plan will be focused on recycle or reuse of treated sewage and other things all right this mission guys will be a paperless mission no paper will be used in this particular mission and Payjal sarvekshan. Payjal sarvekshan will be conducted in the cities to ascertain equitable equitable distribution of water, reuse of wastewater, and mapping of 
ऑल दी वाटर वाटर बॉडीज की वाटर बॉडीज के अंदर कितना पोल्यूशन है उसको कैसे साफ किया जा सकता है ये सारी चीजों के ऊपर बात की जाएगी एंड ऑल्सो मिलियन प्लस सिटीज द पॉपुलेशन द सिटीज है पॉपुलेशन मोर मिलियन और मोर देन मिलियन विल अंडरटेक द पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप प्रोजेक्ट वर्थ मिनिमम ऑफ टेन परसेंट ऑफ दियर टोटल प्रोजेक्ट फंड टोटल प्रोजेक्ट फंड का जो भी उनका होगा उसका दस परसेंट दे विल यूज यू नो दे उसमें वो दस परसेंट जो होगा पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप के फॉर्म में प्रोजेक्ट डेवलप किया जाएगा ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट अमृत टू पॉइंट ओ एंड लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन टोटल फाइनेंशियल आउटलेट फॉर द स्कीम इज टू नाइन सेवन ट्रिपल जीरो करोर यस द मिशन विल प्रोवाइड हंड्रेड परसेंट कवरेज ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई टू ऑल द हाउस होल्ड इन अराउंड फोर्टी सेवन हंड्रेड यूएल बीस दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट इट विल बी अ पेपरलेस मिशन यस एंड पे जल सर्वेक्शन विल बी कंडक्टेड रेगुलरली फ्रेश वाटर बॉडीज विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम गेटिंग पॉल्यूटेड टू मेक नेचुरल रिसोर्स सस्टेनेबल दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट मिलियन प्लस सिटीज विल टेक अप ट्रिपल पी प्रोजेक्ट वर्थ मिनिमम ऑफ थर्टी थ्री परसेंट नो इट इज नॉट थर्टी थ्री परसेंट इट इज टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल प्रोजेक्ट fund which is allotted to those million plus cities so this statement is incorrect which means the correct answer will be guys what option e because we have to identify the incorrect statement all right now let's move ahead to question number 3 which of the following ministries has launched bio naman program on international day of older persons international day of older persons kab hota hai it is being observed on 1st of october since the year 1999 1999 से 1st अक्टूबर के दिन इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ ओल्डर पर्सन इज बीइंग ऑब्जर्व एंड ऑन दिस डे दिस बायोनमन प्रोग्राम वाज लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट हैज लॉन्च दिस प्रोग्राम बायोनमन नाउ हु इज द मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर वीरेंद्र कुमार डॉक्टर वीरेंद्र कुमार इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट एंड दिस मिनिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्च दिस बायोनमन प्रोग्राम नाउ Uh, there are some uh, there there were some launches there were some uh, launches by the vice president of the country on during this program and these are number one the vice president uh, gave the vice president gave bio shresh samman 2021 to the senior citizen this is there is this is a category of awards given to the senior citizens and of course you need not remember the awardees jin jin ko award mila hai wo yaad rakhne ki koi zarurat nahi hai then two portals were launched one is sage portal and another is sacred portal sage portal ka naam aapne pehle bhi suna hoga sage scheme was recently launched by ministry of social justice and empowerment to promote the entrepreneurship uh, for those things which are helpful for the elderly in their old age okay so senior senior care aging growth engine is the full form and for that portal was launched by vice president and then it is sacred senior able citizens for reemployment and dignity this is for connecting private sectors to the senior uh, to the senior citizens so that, that so that they can also have any kind of employment jo senior citizens hai unko bhi kuch na kuch kaam karne ka mauka mile uske liye private sectors ko uh, senior citizens ke sath joda jayega all right through this portal which is known as sacred so these are some of the announcements and the events that were that were happen during the bio naman program and hence the correct answer is what ministry of social justice and empowerment headed by dr virendra kumar and his lok sabha constituency of course is tikamgarh question number 4 an initiative has been launched under day nrlm national rural livelihood mission under which women sag members as business correspondents will provide door step services in every gram panchayat it has been proposed to deploy at least one banking correspondent in the rural areas by 23 24 you have to just identify the initiative each and every information is already given in the question you just have to identify the initiative and move ahead to another one so let's talk about the initiative then is tarike ka question exam mein aata hai to lottery lag jati hai samjho aapke because generally kya hota hai hum facts bhul jate hain aur jab facts given hai initiative ka naam pucha to then that is very easy to identify so day nrm why it is was in news day nrlm Uh, you know offered 50000 women sag members as business correspondent in the rural areas so day and rlm ke under 50000 women sag members ko bank business correspondent ki tarah rural areas mein deploy kiya gaya hai under the day and rlm all right and these bcs business correspondents will provide door step services in every gram panchayat or in shortest gp and what kind of services are these these are banking services 
these are basically the banking services that will be provided by the business correspondents and this initiative they are calling it as 1 gp 1 bc sakhi mission 1 gp 1 bc sakhi mission gp of course is gram panchayat and bc of course is business correspondent now other things about this news uh, once again yes so it is proposed to deploy at least one bc sakhi in the rural areas by financial year 24 it was given in the question itself the women shg members are provided with one week training of banking area okay at the rural self employment training institutes r seti which was uh, which are which are established by the lead district banks also they will have to pass an examination conducted by indian institute of banking and finance ii uh, bf or you can say ii fb kahi kahi pe fb fb bhi likha hua aapko mil jayega ye to indian institute of banking and finance jo hai us wo ek exam conduct karega they have to pass that examination and from there they will get a certificate and then they are, they will be eligible to become a business correspondent all right and the cost of training at training at these institutes and iibf certification will be borne by the minister of rural development because this is being conducted under day nrlm and day nrlm is being implemented by ministry of rural development all right moving ahead to other things so there is a similar initiative jaisa ye hamara bc sakhi wala hai initiative aisa hi ek dg pe sakhi hai dg pe sakhi for that an mou was signed between day nrlm and csc e governance india limited csc e governance india limited aur day nrlm ke beech mein ek mou sign hua tha for this dg pe sakhi initiative now what is this dg pe sakhi so this is for engaging women shg members as dg pe sakhi to provide banking basic banking facilities in the rural areas so this is also similar to that but there is a difference but yahan pe difference kya hai that these dg pe sakhi will use the dg pe app they will use the dg pe app of csc there is an app of csc dg pe they will use this app to provide the basic banking services in the rural areas while in the previous one the 1 gp 1 bc sakhi mission in that they will use their laptop matlab basically jo banking uh, you know jo websites wagera hoti hai wo unka istemal karke they will provide the banking services okay in this they will only use the dg pe app to provide the banking services all right but aur yahan pe ek exception aur hai they cannot open the accounts ये अकाउंट भी ओपन नहीं कर सकते ठीक है मतलब बेसिक बैंकिंग फैसिलिटीज विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय डीजी पे सखी सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो हियर यू हैव टू जस्ट आइडेंटिफाई द इनिशिएटिव द इनिशिएटिव गाइस इज वन जीपी वन बीसी सखी मिशन ऑप्शन डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इट इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन और थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज एयर लाइव स्ट्रीम ऑन न्यूज न्यूज ऑन एयर ऐप इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर कौन दुनिया के कौन से देश में न्यूज ऑन एयर ऐप है ऑल इंडिया रेडियो का उसमें सबसे ज्यादा लाइव स्ट्रीम कौन से देश में देखी जाती है दिस देश गाइज इज यू एस ए ऑप्शन ई यूएसए इज द कंट्री वेयर न्यू एयर लाइव स्ट्रीम आर मोस्ट पॉपुलर ऑन द न्यूज एयर ऐप एंड इसमें दो अलग अलग रैंकिंग्स बताई गई हैं वो देख लेते हैं क्या है सबसे पहला है न्यूज ऑन एयर ग्लोबल टॉप स्ट्रीम्स मतलब विच चैनल इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ग्लोबली विच ए आर चैनल इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर ग्लोबली नंबर वन पे है विविध भारतीय नेशनल नंबर टू पे इट इज एफ एम गोल्ड डेली एंड देन एफ एम रेनबो डेली एंड फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम एयर न्यूज ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन एंड एयर तमिल हैव यू नो वो टॉप टेन में सबसे पहली बार आए हैं ओके कितनी कितनी रैंक है रैंक सिक्स और रैंक नाइन दे हैव मेड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दी टॉप टेन Air News 24/7 and Air Tamil. And what about the countries? Top three countries are USA, Australia, and Fiji, which means uh, this, uh, you know, the news and news on air app is most popular in these three countries. USA number one pe, number two Australia, and number three pe Fiji. Now let's come back to the question. So as I told you, the answer, the correct answer to this question, guys, is what USA option E. Now moving ahead to question number six, which is the last question. Name the portal that has been launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, which is headed by Mr. Bhupendra Yadav, and he is also the Minister of Labour and Employment, which will give all the details about the wetlands of the country. This is, guys, very easy question, and there is no need to study much more. The name of the portal is Wetlands of India. Let's move ahead to the news. The name of the portal is what? Wetlands of India. 
wetlands of india and through this portal all the information all the detailed information regarding the wetlands of the country will be provided jitni bhi detailed information hai regarding the wetlands of the country wo isme provide hongi and do remember that this has been developed under a project which is known as wetland management for biodiversity and climate protection okay do remember the name of this project also although it is not so important but yes यू नेवर नो की एग्जामिनर का दिमाग आज के डेट में कैसे चल रहा है बिल्कुल ही अलग चल रहा है बिकॉज अभी अगर आपने एस बी आई पी ओ क्लर्क का एग्जाम दिया होगा तो उसमें अगर आपको याद हो जेवलिन का मिनिमम वेट पूछा हुआ है तो दैट इज यू नो आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड की ये क्वेश्चन पूछने का क्या मतलब है बट चलो ठीक है पूछ रहे हैं तो पूछने दो उनका काम है पूछना हमारा काम है आंसर देना तो हम सब कुछ करके जाएंगे पूछ लो जो मर्जी पूछना है वेटलैंड मैनेजमेंट फॉर बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड क्लाइमेट प्रोटेक्शन इज दी प्रोजेक्ट अंडर विच दिस wetland for india portal was wetland of india portal was launched so the correct answer is what wetlands of india option c will be the correct answer and that's it for the session guys i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless